Hey guys, welcome to another episode of When You Need Em, Ask Need Em. Today, we're on the second half of the Tech Bowl. Yes, the second half of the game has started. We've got G Suite versus Office 365. Let's battle. No, I'm just joking. Let's get into this. So we're going to talk about uh, Office 365 and G Suite. And we're going to take a look at four areas, cloud storage, uh, collaboration, applications, and integration. Yes, it's a lot of it's a lot of Asian, but we'll get through it. I promise you. We're going to look at both of these app, both of these systems as a business owner to figure out what's better for your business, right? Because that's what we do here at Ask Need. We're all focused on making you a better business owner. So first thing, we look at cloud storage. Uh, if we look at cloud storage in the G Suite world, we've got uh, Drive, Google Drive. Um, if we look at uh, cloud storage in Office 365, you've got OneDrive. Uh, so the two compared together, you get between a, a terabyte to unlimited storage for both of them. So honestly, it's a tie. They've got mobile applications, so you can get access on your uh, on your tablet or your mobile device. You can get access to your data uh, on your PC, online, offline, whether you're on the internet or not. All that works the same. Tie, 1-1. One, one. Um, next thing we're going to take a look at is collaboration. Uh, with Office 365, uh, they use uh, Teams and Skype. Uh, that's their kind of chat and video functionality. If you're familiar with Skype, it's Skype for Business. Uh, Skype for Business is turning into Teams. Um, really great application, very uh, Slack-esque. It's very, very much like Slack. Um, if you're a G Suite person, then they're gonna use Hangouts uh, and, and, and that functionality. Now, for the, honestly, for the both of them, it, you know, uh, point both of them. They're, they're again, tied, tied for collaboration. Uh, both of them are very easy to use uh, with a little bit of training uh, and functionality. Uh, the third thing we're going to look at is applications. And I'm going to be honest, I mean, from a cloud application standpoint, you know, you've got Google Sheets and, uh, you know, Google Docs and all the other stuff. Uh, Microsoft's got, you know, online Word, online Excel, online PowerPoint and all that. Um, but from an application standpoint, I'm going to have to kind of side and give a point to Office 365 because I have the option to download and install the full Office suite on my computer. And that cost is included in, in my subscription, depending on what subscription I pick. And so for this one, from, from an application standpoint, I got to give this one uh, to Office 365. So one point for Office 365, zero for, uh, for G Suite. Uh, the third thing we want to take a look at is integrations. Now, this is kind of where Google gets, gets Office 365. Uh, Google's been around a little bit longer with Gmail, uh, and the integrations that, they ha that Google has is, is a little bit more. Microsoft's slowly catching up, but again, this is, you know, real for real. So if, you've got a, if you're trying to really make sure you know, you're, you've got this application and you want it to integrate and that's kind of your primary business application and, and it only works with G, uh, G Suite and not Office 365, well then you know which way you gotta go. So if we take a look at G Suite versus Office 365, again guys, it's a tie, I'm sorry, but again, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day, it's what you need for your business. And so ask yourself this question, what, what do I need in my business to, that, that, will, that this, these two applications support? Is my line of business application only work with Office 365 and not G Suite? Does it work with G Suite and not Office 365? Honestly, at the end of the day, it's the same. In our company at Katori, we are really focused on Office 365. We just think that you know that's where most of our clients are at in the Microsoft world, and that's kind of what we kind of have for them. Well, that sums it up today. Uh, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, hit your uh, comments below. Ask us if you have any questions. Make sure you hit the bell icon to get notified the next time we release a video. Hey guys, you have a great one and enjoy the Super Bowl this year. Take care.